the CEO who gave all of his employees a minimum of $70,000 paycheck. The business is thriving six years later. Uh, that's the title of this video here, guys. Um, suggestion via Discord. Um, now, when I, when I think of the title itself, um, I think that it's absolutely intelligent. I think about this here, guys. So when it comes to running a corporation or any type of company, for example, um, your biggest asset, yeah, it may be the material goods that you're kind of producing or whatever you're producing. Sure. Uh, but your biggest asset is your employee, right? So what you really want to do is make sure that you're kind of investing into your employee employees very nicely. Um, so the fact that they're thriving six years later, it makes all the sense in the world that they're thriving. You invested in your business. Right? You made sure that the employees are incredibly happy financially, I'm guessing, right? All right, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately, guys. This morning, we have an update Super on loud. the story of a CEO who made a stunning announcement on employee pay. This was more than six years ago when we first told you about it. 2015, Dan Price is his name. He raised the salary of everyone at his Seattle credit card processing company okay. to at least $70,000 a year, at least. Price's decision was met with predictions of bankruptcy from his worst critics, but we're here to tell you now that has not happened. Instead, the company is actually thriving, and as Carter Evans shows us, the higher pay has helped employees buy homes and start families. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> New parents and co-workers, Carrie Chen and Alex Franklin, can't wait to introduce their son to colleagues at work, a company they say made it possible for them to begin a family in the first place. And you weren't the only ones that had a baby, huh? No, no. everybody <laughs> had a baby. So it's a baby boom here. Why do you think that's happening? <laughs> We can afford it. They both work at Gravity Payments in Seattle, a credit card processing company with a CEO who six years ago did something that shocked everyone. And we're going to have a minimum uh, $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. Now, when he announced it, right? I definitely have never heard of this, but when he announced it, I can only imagine the amount of naysayers, uh, specifically the ones who are, uh, you know, running gigantic corporations. I mean, how dare you say that I should take money away from, from, from like stockholders? How dare you? Right? I'm not going down on my profit. Um, guys, if you're making an absolutely egregious amount of money and you have to see the, the people, your employees, every single day, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking, you know, a, a solid pay cut so everyone can actually get some. Specifically, if you're making, you know, a million a year, do you really need to make a million a year, bro? I don't know. Probably not. Right. Or a couple of billion a year. That's that's a little ridiculous. Again, egregious. <laughs> guys. Right. Um, so if he wants to do this, let him do it. I'm definitely glad his company you know, is prosperous. It makes a little sense of the world that it would be prosperous. Hmm? Bro, you fostered loyalty. This is a new definition of that. You had people making $35,000 a year, but you told them you were going to double their salary. Yeah. And then you actually had to do it. Right. How did you pull it off? Well, it's tricky. You know, I, I took the million dollar pay cut. That's okay. right. A million dollar pay cut. Dan Price was simultaneously hailed as a hero and eviscerated as an enemy of capitalism. Lunatic of all lunatics, Dan Price. Personally, I think he's a socialist. I hope this company is a case study in MBA programs because it's okay. gonna fail. But that didn't happen. Oh. So, so you've happened. almost doubled the number of employees yeah. and you've tripled business. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, listen, listen. Of course you're gonna double the number of employees. That's a fact. Yeah. And you're still paying a minimum of $70,000 a year. Correct. How much do you make? Uh, I make $70,000 a year. To pay his own okay. bills, Price downsized his own life, sold a second uh -huh. home he owned, and tapped into his own uh, savings. Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, oh, you start the company, you own it. I I'm not sure you should be taking $70,000. I'm just going to be honest. Because, I mean, that, that apparently is the minimum wage of your company, and you have decided that you're going to take the minimum wage of your company. Keep this in mind, $70,000 a year uh, before taxes is still not enough to actually purchase the median house in America, right? I mean, no, I, I don't under, I, I don't, like, at, at this very specific time uh, in our history, uh, in our, in this current, you know, Biden's economy, right, um, we have uh, an issue. Um, your household income needs to basically be about $116,000 just to basically qualify for uh, like the 416 to 430 uh, median household price in the United States of America. So if you don't make that money and you haven't been making that money for basically two calendar years, 
<laughs> Chris, um, why would you do that as a CEO, specifically? Okay, uh, uh, listen, again, congratulations, but if, but if I started something, I'm not sure that I'm going to go ahead and take a million dollars off. Not like that. If a if million dollars brought you to 70000 a year, that's crazy. Okay. Um, you should be at least, if you want to be good, you know, so, so good, two ninety nine, three hundred. Give yourself three hundred thousand dollars a year, all right? I'm sure everyone will be fine. I think it was a big risk. Yeah. Andrew Haffenbrack teaches at the University of Washington's Foster School of Business. It does go against what people expect and what we usually see in terms of corporations and companies. These days, average CEO compensation is 320 times more than the salaries of their typical workers. Okay. This shows that isn't the only way for a company to be successful and profitable. Do you pay what you can get away with or do you pay what you think is ideal or reasonable or fair? Why aren't more The average person, the average company um, CEO is definitely going to pay what they can get away with. Uh, fact. Right? Um, the fact that it's 70,000, I like that. That's good. That's good, good. Companies doing this. I would say that's the failure of this. You know, I feel like I've been shouting from the rooftop, like, this works, this works, everybody should do it. And zero big companies are following suit because no. the system values having the highest return with the lowest risk and the lowest amount of work. <laughs> but Price thinks Gravity's returns are up in large part because bigger paychecks have led to fiercely loyal employees. Absolutely. Our turnover rate not, was cut in half. They're not going so anywhere. So when you have employees staying twice as long, their knowledge of how to help our customers skyrocketed over time. And that's really what paid for the raise more so than my pay cut. Meeting them where they are? The company did take a hit during the pandemic, losing 55% of its business in March 2020. At one point, price figured gravity was only four months right. away from failing, but it bounced back after its employees voluntarily took a temporary pay cut. We reduced yeah. our salary to $40,000. Yeah, I think we took uh, each about somewhere around 60%. Are you back up to normal now? Not only back to normal, gravity repaid us all of the pay cut oh. that we had. Ooh. voluntarily given up are we gonna get a little uh, playpen in here yeah loyalty Lo absolute loyalty for you <laughs> price says baby thomas is one of 60 new additions to the company family over the past six years he also claims the number of employees buying homes has gone up tenfold we are right on track i'm guessing that came from when uh they got basically paid back from after the 19 I mean, think about that for a second they got a gigantic lump sum of lump sum of money everyone um, the average person is not going to be able to save the amount of money that they basically got back. Uh, if they took a pay cut for, for like two years, let's say, down to $40,000, that's a $60,000 bonus, bro. Yeah, yeah, they got houses. Track for the American dream. You know, we have a beautiful baby boy, a wonderful home, a beautiful life. We're not only um, just living, we're able to thrive. And they're able to say thank you to the man who made it possible. He has his dream car. We're like, hey, let's like, if we all chip in just a little bit, we can make it happen. And we did. <laughs> oh my God! My employees have done way more for me than I could ever do for them. So the fact that they wanted to get me such a <laughs> such an unreal, amazing <laughs> gift, it's, it's pretty special. I don't know if I can put it into words. You could have afforded that with your old salary. Yeah, that's true. I'm way right. happier now yeah, right. than I was before. Oh, this feels good. At Gravity Payments, it seems like there's a lot of that going around. For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans in Seattle. <laughs> that was a beautiful story on so many levels. Gorgeous. First Dan does that, and then the employees do that, and then they get Dan a tussle he's always wanted. Bravo. I loved okay. all of it. Hey, Thank you, right, Guys, we're going to stop it because I hear this music playing. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, this company is actually a big company. All right. And what I mean by that is that the, the annual revenue of the company is absolutely astronomical. All right. And it seems like almost a pure profit business other than the actual, um, you know, the, the, the payment of, of the employees along with the building that they're in. Um, yeah, there's, some, there's something weird going on here, guys. All right. 2024, they basically cleared one hundred and three point one million dollars. Uh, that amount of money, uh, it, it doesn't add up, bro. OK, 70. How many employees do you have? Okay, you're taking 70? I think he's just saying he's taking 70. Okay, 
to be honest here. I mean, obviously he's paying investors most likely, but um, yeah, the there's still a gigantic amount of money, right? That's missing. That's 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 somewhere. Um, let's see, employee uh, count. How many employees are there? Uh, they currently have 240 people. Uh, so if we do 240 times uh, the minimum salary at this company, 240 times 70,000, that equals 16 million. Uh, we're still missing 0.1 million. Boom. Yeah, we're still missing way too much money for this man to say that he's only taking seventy thousand dollars. That's, I mean, you could probably double their salary and still not even uh, it affect your company. You can pay everyone one hundred and forty thousand dollars and it's still basically nothing to to his company, right? He still has seventy thousand seventy million dollars left over after paying everyone one hundred and forty thousand dollars. All right, so there's some money somewhere, right? I would like to know. And it's not the electric bill. Right? I'm sure the building rent is also not that crazy neither. It's not, it's not going to be millions of dollars a year. Huh. But all right, listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. Mm -hmm.